Hello YouTube, this is Farmer Son Prepping here. Coming to you today uh, to talk to you about preparing for winter now. Yes, it's late July, about to be August here in Alabama where I live. Uh, but people who live here where I live, they know if you want to get the cheapest propane prices, now is the time to buy. So, uh, it's got me scared, y'all. I don't know what they're going to say the price is. Uh, I could call and get a price today, but it does me no good. They post a different price every day. This I already know from dealing with my propane company. So, it could be $3 a gallon today. And, you know, when I get ready to get paid or when I get ready to purchase, it can be a, a completely different number. So it does me no good to figure all that stuff right now. Uh, wait till I got the money, then we'll see what we can get done. But, uh, you know, with the whole old gas is up, natural gas is up, propane's supposed to be up. You know, I got my propane for a dollar eighty-nine a gallon last year, uh, and that was a steal for last year. That was a steal. That was on a summer fill-up rate, a uh, little special that I got that on. Uh, so, what's it going to be this year? I don't know, but I am bracing for something really high. And I've got other bills. I've got other things I need to do. Uh, the vet sent me a card. Rocky's due at the vet for his shots and uh, and all that stuff. And he needs a checkup. He's eight years old, so you know older dogs need a checkup every year. Uh, you know, if you're gonna catch something with your pet, you want to catch it early. It makes it less expensive to deal with and less fatal uh, as well. Just like if you with you, if you, if I had the big C, uh, you know, you'd want to catch that early. So. But I'm having to prioritize, y'all. This tank has got to be dealt with right now. Uh, get your winter preps ready. Do them right now. Firewood's going to be cheaper. Heating oil's going to be cheaper. Propane's going to be cheaper right now than if you wait until it starts getting cold. When it starts getting cold, the prices start going on up because the demand gets higher. You buy when the demand is low, you get a better price. And again, I have no idea. They could tell me it's gonna be $5 a gallon. If, if they do that, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I can't afford that. But uh, I'm hoping and praying and saving every penny I got right now. That's why there ain't been much going on as far as preps, me doing videos on box openings or whatever. I am saving to get my propane tank filled up, and that is of vital importance right now. Because right now is when you're going to get the cheaper price. Uh, let's see. More winter preps for you. This one's kind of dusty. Get your batteries, y'all. Make sure you got batteries for your flashlights. Flashlights, I use flashlights way more in the winter time because it's darker in the winter time. So, if you don't have a battery daddy that is nearly full of batteries, then you best be uh, getting you some batteries. Uh, if you need the little one, two, three A's for your, for your flashlights, your tactical flashlights, a lot of them take the one, two, three A's. There we go. These little bad boys right here. Get you some of those. If that's what your flashlight takes, get some of those. Uh, and I've got a, a 20 pack of energizers in there that I bought last year that I ain't took but two out of. So I'm good on those. But uh, whatever it is you heat with, if you only heat with electric, you're playing a dangerous game because if the electric goes out and you have nothing for backup, you better hope you got some warm sleeping bags because that's about all that's going to help you. Uh, so if you have a wood burning fireplace for backup, 
get that firewood now. It's going to be cheaper now than it is later. If you use, if you're up north and you use heating oil, get that stuff now. The cheaper price is going to be right now. If you use propane like I do, I got a 250 gallon propane tank outside my front window right here. That's got to be dealt with right now because if you wait, you're not going to be able to afford to stay warm this winter. So uh, I know it's the middle of summertime and it's it's 100 degrees outside everywhere. Just about everywhere in the country right now, it's 100 degrees outside. But you got to be ahead of the curve. Preppers, hey, us preppers are ahead of the curve. Get on this stuff right now, y'all. It is of vital importance. We don't know what this winter is going to hold. It could be record-breaking cold. You know, we're in this grand solar minimum thing, whatever. I don't completely understand it. I don't claim to. But I know we're in one, you know. So I keep that in the back of my little noggin up here as well. Uh, get your winter preps. Get them now. Uh, if you if you run just electric and you don't have any backup way to cook or backup way uh, to heat your home, you need to be working on that right now instead of later. Uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you uh, for backup heat if you're all electric. You're going to have to find you a, a wood stove or something. Uh, perhaps kerosene heater, something. The little buddy heaters are good. Get you some of those. Get you one, you know, in the wintertime, if you have to, for survival. Now, it's not going to be ideal because if you cut off one room and keep one room warm, you're liable to bust pipes in all your other rooms. Keep that in mind. But, uh... If you have to for survival, you use one room. Keep that one room warm and let the rest of the house just be cold. Uh, conserve down, you know, survival mode kind of a deal. Uh, so um, if you need antifreeze for your vehicles, get it now. All this stuff is going to be cheaper in the middle of summertime than it is going to be in the wintertime. So if you need antifreeze, you know, don't get the watered down stuff. Get the good stuff, the full 100% antifreeze. It's expensive. I get it. And if you got three or four vehicles, or if you're like us and you've got 20 tractors, and I mean, it costs Dad just for all Dad's vehicles and all his tractors, and uh, we have you know side by sides and four wheelers that take that have to have antifreeze in it. So. Get that stuff now. Winter time preps. Now is the time. Uh, I said it the other night in Roman Prepper's live stream, and I'm in it. Uh, so put your winter thinking cap on. Take your summer cap off and put your winter thinking cap on. What are you going to need this winter? Because now's the time to be thinking about it. Now's the time to be preparing those items. I'm having to put things off. Uh, I probably will not have a tiny prep coming up because all my money is going towards this propane tank. But once that's full and I know I've got it and I put my lock on it and lock that cap down, it can't be messed with unless somebody just shoots it and tries to blow it up. Uh, can't nobody get to it to let the gas out or whatever or try to fill up their 20 pounders. <laughs> It's not that bad in this neighborhood, but I'm watching what's going on around the world. It's getting bad everywhere, so it's getting to where I just don't trust. You just don't leave up. I don't know what I'm trying to say, y'all, but uh, I just don't trust anybody nowadays. Uh, I trust Dad. I trust my mom. I trust my sister. There's a few people, you know, a couple of folks that I grew up with. It's in my mind. I trust them with my life. But uh, there's like my stepbrother down here that I do not trust as far as I can throw him. Uh, there's others in the community. You know, every community has its bad apples. I know y'all know that's a fact. Uh, locks keep uh, things secure. I did a video about that. Yes, I put one on my electrical box, but I also put one on my propane tank as well. Anything that has a hasp, you can lock it. I advise you to do that 
but that's not what this video is about. This video is about winter preps. And it's going to be a long video. Oh well. Think about the things you're going to need. What if the electricity goes off and it's below freezing? Think about that for a minute. Are you going to have lighting? Are you going to have a way to stay warm? Do you have a tent? Can you set up a tent? Can you create a microclimate inside your house? That tent will stay warm just for your body heat a lot of times. And if there's two or three people in a tent, it will definitely stay warmer than the rest of your house. Uh, these are things to think about right now. Um, Wintertime preps, y'all. Get on them. Be thinking about it now. Be acting on it now because it's going to be less expensive to do things now than it is once it gets cold and the demand hits and you call your propane company and they laugh at you. Hey, I need my tank filled up. I'm on 13%. <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll put you on the wait list. We might get to you in six weeks. That's how, and that's where I live. It gets that way in the wintertime. Look, look, if you call the gas company in the middle of wintertime wanting gas, they'll laugh at you. Yeah, okay, well, uh, we might be there in four weeks. Maybe it'll be five or six. And there you are. And if the power's out, you're just going to freeze. So think about it, y'all. I know I've said it several times, but I, I mean to get it through to your, you know, I mean to get the message across. Get your winter preps done now. Uh, it's going to be cheaper now. And you'll have peace of mind knowing, hey, come October here in Alabama, when it finally gets cold, peace of mind. All my vehicles have antifreeze. Or I, I haven't, maybe I haven't put it in yet, but I've got it stacked. I've got it. Okay, now it's time to go do that. Address those vehicles. Put the antifreeze in. Because in the summertime here, most people just run water. But uh, knowing you've got that stuff prepared before time, before, time, before you're going to need it, is going to give you peace of mind later on this year. So... Whatever it is you need. If you need solar lanterns, get some. If you need batteries for your flashlights, get some. If you need antifreeze, get some. If you need new tire chains, uh, whatever. Y'all, you know, I lived in Alaska for a short time. I know how it is up there. Tire chains, studded tires, whatever it is you're going to be needing for this winter, get it now, okay? I'm just trying to help y'all. This is Farmer Son prepping. Uh, do the things. Uh, it's a boring kind of part of the year right here. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, we'll be having some hay cut soon because it's, you know, 10 feet tall out there. Uh, and every time my dogs run through it, they get hay seeds all over them and I have to pick them out and it takes an hour. Uh, but other than that, not a whole lot going on. It's just too hot. Dad's not getting out of the house much. I'm staying in the house a lot. Is that the best thing for us uh, physically? No, it's not. Uh, and I get that. And I try to get outside and do one, at least one project every day. Uh, but uh, winter preps, think on them. Do the things. Do the things before the demand hits. All right, I've preached enough. This is Farmer Sam Prepping. God bless y'all. Come join me Friday night. Uh, I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna do a live stream this Friday, and I'm just gonna post the link. Anybody that wants to come up can. I mean, you can just be in the chat, <clears throat> hoping to have a good time, just chillaxing with everybody. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, this is Farmer Sam Prepping. I'm shutting the video off now, y'all. God bless you is my prayer. <laughs>